now I have to pick, take on Joe Biden because, frankly, the advertisement that he put out using his dead wife, his dead daughter, and his dead son, although I want to be very, very clear with you, I want to be very, very clear with you, I don't think Joe Biden purposely put out this ad to, um, as a cheap way to use his grief. I don't like Joe Biden politically. I don't like his policies. I don't like what he has voted for. And I think he's fraudulent in what he's telling the American people. But I am not going to sit here and say his grief isn't real or what he has gone through. He lost a wife. He lost a daughter. He's lost an adult son. I am not going to say that's not real. And I am not going to say that he, it is unfair for him to use that in his campaign. People's personal struggles, obstacles, is part of their life story, and their life story is part of their campaign. So my criticism of this ad is actually not that he did the ad and that he did this ad. My criticism is it plays fast and loose with the plays fast and loose with facts, and it also he probably didn't intend for this to happen. He actually made the case against his own health care plan. And I'm going to explain why. And no one in the media has pointed this out. Here, if you missed it, here is Joe Biden's uh, TV ad that he put out uh, about the, the loss he has had in his family. I was sworn into the United States Senate next to a hospital bed. My wife and daughter had been killed in a car crash. And lying in that bed were my two surviving little boys. I couldn't imagine what it would have been like if we didn't have the health care they needed immediately. Forty years later, one of those little boys, my son Bo, was diagnosed with terminal cancer and given only months to live. I can't fathom what would have happened if the insurance companies had said for the last six months of his life, you're on your own. The fact of the matter is, healthcare is personal to me. Obamacare is personal to me. When I see the president try to tear it down and others propose to replace it and start over, that's personal to me, too. We've got to build on what we did because every American deserves affordable health care. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. We have to keep it real. When Joe Biden says, I cannot imagine what it would be like if the insurance company said you're on your own for the, for the last six months of his life, he's right because he wouldn't he didn't have to imagine it like millions of Americans would continue to have to imagine under the health care plan that he's proposing. Bo Biden, and by the way, we've reached out to the Biden campaign to get some answers to some of these questions. Bo Biden, if, if you're not familiar, died of a brain tumor, Joe Biden's son. He was a member of the Delaware Army National Guard and was a major in the Judge Advocate General Corps. He was in the Army. Uh, again, obviously you respect his service and he's no longer with us. He was a member of the Delaware Army National Guard. I don't know for certain because Joe Biden's campaign has not responded to us, but my assumption is being that he served, he probably had partial health care through the VA. So even in the last months of his life, he would have coverage as part of having served. And he should. If you served in the military, you should. Even though the wars are ridiculous, even though the wars are stupid, that doesn't mean we don't support the soldiers who fight them. So Joe Biden, when he says, I can't imagine that what would happen if the insurance company said you're on your own? You don't have to imagine it. Because he had insurance. There's another reason Joe Biden probably didn't have to imagine it. Doesn't mean because Bo Biden, for those of you that don't know, was the Attorney General of Delaware. He was the Attorney General, uh, Attorney General, <laughs> Attorney General of Delaware. And his term ended at the beginning of 2015, at the beginning of January 2015, okay? 
Well, he died in May 2015, so he died only five months later. Well, immediately after ending his term as the Attorney General of Delaware, he joined a major donor to the Bidens and the Obamas law firm. This is from uh, January 2015, just five months before he died. Former Attorney General Bo Biden didn't waste time finding a job. Biden, who left office last week ahead of a planned campaign for governor, will work at a law firm, uh, work as a lawyer at Grant and Eisenhower, Eisenhofer, the law firm by Stuart Grant, a prominent Democratic donor and the plaintiff's lawyer who represents institutional investors. Biden will work in GE's Wilmington offices, the firm announced Monday, and getting to, I think, the more important part, Grant, who's, this is Grant's firm, is a friend and a significant donor to the Bidens. Grant bundled between 200000 and 500000 for the re-election campaign of President Barack Obama and Vice President Joe Biden, Bo's father, in 2012. Grant wrote a 10000 check to Bo Biden's political action committee, BOPAC, in August and gave another 10000 to a political action committee backing uh, Den in October. Den is the candidate who became the uh, Delaware Attorney General after Bo Biden. So, again, when Joe Biden says, I can't imagine what it would have been like if the insurance company said, you're on your own, he didn't have to imagine because his son, I'm not saying Bo Biden, uh, it's no disrespect to him, his son probably worked hard, his son had a, had a strong resume, you know, Delaware Attorney General, obviously a lawyer, all these things. Most Americans do not serve in the military to then have health insurance through the Veterans Administration. And most Americans, if they left their job in January, whether they got fired, whether they quit, whether they had health problems, or their term ended, if it's a job that you're in a term, wouldn't then get the next day a prestigious job at a law firm that just so happened to have donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Most Americans don't have the, those built-in advantages. So when Joe Biden proposes a expanding Obamacare, by the way, with very little specifics on how he's going to expand Obamacare, when Joe Biden expo uh, proposes a public option, which again, a public option is not universal guaranteed health care. It's not. What Joe Biden is trying to say with this ad that he can't imagine what would have happened with his son. Of course, I just told you he didn't have to imagine. His son was in the VA and his son got a job the next day or that right after he left office as Delaware Attorney General by a family friend and heavy donor to Biden. Most Americans don't have that. And just to, just to make it clear, when jo Joe Biden in this interview with CNN is literally, literally, without even knowing it, talking against for-profit health care. Here we go. And so I was having lunch with the president, and he was the only guy other than my family I confided all along in everything that was going on with Bo because I felt a responsibility to do that so that he knew where I was, my mm -hmm. thinking. And um, I said, uh, you know, my, my concern is, I said, if Bo resigns, he has no, there, 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 there's no, uh, nothing to fall back on, his salary. And, and I said, but I worked it out. I said, but Jill and I will sell the house, we'll be in good shape. And he got up, he said, don't sell that house. Promise me you won't sell the house. I, he's going to be mad at me saying this. He said, I'll give you the money. Whatever you need, I'll give you the money. Don't, Joe, promise me, promise me. I said, I don't think we're going to have to anyway. He said, promise me. And then I'll never forget the eulogy he delivered for Bo. He just made the case for Medicare for all. Biden is literally saying we would have to sell our house to help Bo cover his medical bills. Under, By the way, this was 2015. So Obamacare existed in 2015. 
The problem is when you have a for-profit health insurance industry, even with Obamacare, even with a public option, it doesn't guarantee the costs of chemo and hospital stays and cancer treatment will be covered in full because there's no price controls in a for-profit healthcare system. This, you just heard it on the tape, this is from Biden. This is the Washington Post on this very topic. Over the next two years, Bo submitted to a range of powerful treatments and throughout it all, Obama was at Biden's side. When Biden mentioned during one of their private lunches that he might take a second mortgage on his home for the family's medical bills, Obama got up from the table and put his hands on his friend's shoulders. Don't do that, Obama told him, as Biden recounted in his memoir. I'll give you the money. I have it. You pay me back whenever. The Biden family never needed to avail itself of Obama's generosity. That's according to the Washington Post. I don't know how they know that Biden never took him up on it. We co- we reached out to the Biden campaign to say, you know, did the vice president um, take financial help from President Obama? There would be nothing wrong with it. If I were in the position, I, w- I would have too. But we reached out to get answers to these questions. They haven't responded. He's literally doing an ad saying, thank God. I can't imagine what would have happened in, if in my son's final months and day and weeks and days, We had to worry about health insurance. You're right there on the tape admitting you did have to worry about it. Yeah, you were going to have to remortgage your house. In another interview, he talked about possibly selling his house to cover Bo's medical expenses. And by the way, this isn't a criticism of him. That's what what families have to do in a for-profit healthcare system. That's what he would have been forced to do. But luckily, his son, again, I, I, can't, I don't have confirmation of this because I, 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 we reached out to the uh, Delaware Attorney General to ask them if even after Bo's um, term was up, if in Delaware government, maybe you get to keep your health care for a few months after your, after your term runs out. So we've been responsible. We've reached out to Biden's campaigns. We've reached out to the Delaware Attorney General's office. We have not heard back yet. I'm not saying Joe Biden intentionally exploited his son or or his loss. I do respect his loss. I know Jen does too. I would, I I don't have children, but I can't imagine losing two children. I can't. So I totally sympathize with his loss. We don't have to be barbaric just because we disagree politically. With that said, your health insurance plan that you're talking about keeps for-profit health care. So with your health insurance plan, You could say, well, there's a public option, so people would be covered. But anyone who has read about public options knows the public option does not guarantee health insurance. It doesn't. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you could sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you. Thank you.